Now to talk about this. Joining me, Nancy Keenan, president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, and Charmaine Yost, president with Americans United for Life. Charmaine, I'm going to start you, with you. The, the Hyde Amendment has been in place for a long time. No federal funding for abortions. Why isn't right. that language good enough to move forward? Gosh, I'm glad you asked that question, particularly given what Chuck said about the misunderstandings on the Hill about this. The Hyde Amendment only applies to Medicaid. It does not apply to this new legislation that we're considering. It doesn't so, apply to the new legislation, but it's worked for so many years and is so specific to federal money not exactly. being used for abortion. It gets renewed every year. Why isn't that strong enough? Well, it is, and that's why we have to have it apply to the health care reform bill, and that's why the Stupak Amendment is so important. The Stupak Amendment is codifying um, the Hyde language into health care reform. That's why it's so important, Nancy. Nancy, do you need codification? Listen, uh, that's ac that's actually wrong. Um, basically, the Stupak Amendment goes much farther than the status no. quo. The Stupak Amendment basically says um, that women who go into the exchange and want to ha have access to insurance coverage that covers abortion care can't even purchase it with their own money. And that's, that's why the Stupak Amendment has gone much farther than what has historically been known as the Hyde Amendment and the status quo. And uh, it's unacceptable. Nancy, that's really nice creative messaging for you to gin up your grassroots, but that's simply not an accurate description of what the Stupak Amendment does. The Stupak Amendment actually does maintain what has been our uh, policy on, at the federal level on abortion funding for over two decades. You know, it's interesting going to Chuck Todd's point about how high the passions run on this issue. There is a national consensus on abortion policy. Over 70 percent of the do oppose having their taxpayer dollars go to abortion and funding. Let's, let's be and clear that's here, why Nancy. the Stupak Amendment is so important, is to protect the interests of those people. Let's be clear that the original bill made it very clear that there would not be federal dollars spent on abortion care. The oh, status quo, true. it is the hide. The Stupak Amendment is actually taking away, if you will, insurance coverage for women who presently have it that covers abortion care. That is the effect of the Stupak Amendment. So if you think of this exchange as a marketplace, no. it's telling the insurance companies that if you cover abortion care, then you do not have access to 80% of the people that are going to access uh, insurance coverage sure, in, this, sure, in this marketplace. There, there is truth in that. I mean, if you, in fact, have the superstructure of some kind of public option and private companies can come in, the fact that there is superstructure that has federal support means that even if you're a private insurer and you want to be a part of this pool, right. if you're a woman covered by that, you are then precluded from having this coverage or you have to buy no. a rider. And most women don't think about this ahead of time. And frankly, is isn't health care insurance expensive enough for women? Well, the important point is that there is a provision for private insurers to offer abortion coverage to women who want to pay for it with their own money. And what kind of that's, surcharge? That's, that's I mean, but what, what, no, but that's just that. But that's what current policy is, but Nancy. Nancy. When you're but talking Nancy, about seriously. when you're talking about something that so many people feel so strongly about, if people want to pay for it with their own private dollars, the Stupak Amendment um, preserves that option for people. It does not. That is wrong. Well, In essence, let's go back to this marketplace, 80% of the people that are going to be in this exchange by the Stupak Amendment are prohibited, because these insurance companies aren't going to, to provide that to 80% of the marketplace in this in this exchange, and no insurance company is going to just offer it for that 20%. You know, that is not accurate, and, Nancy, and the fact really is, is that the bottom line was women were not supposed to lose ground. People were not supposed to lose ground on health care no, reform, Nancy, that, and in like this I case, said, they're I'm, losing it's ground. Very, it's very impressive that you guys have gotten mobilized and come up with your talking points in the face of the fact that there, the was, that there was a very strong bipartisan majority that passed this pro-life protection and that reflects where the American people when you are looking to define abortion as health care, that is really out of touch with where the American people are the on American this. The American people that's right now. we were able to pass this amendment <laughs> Charmaine, to establish uh, these pro-life protections. Charmaine, some people have told that, it's, that it was part of uh, just an extension of the Hyde Amendment, and there was a real question as to whether in the wee hours of the morning this was a bait and switch. 
That's well, no, exactly I right. I mean, the get that is exactly has already right, said this. Nancy. No, the stupac amendment. It was a bait stupac, and switch. No, the stupac amendment has been around for um, for weeks while we've been debating this. And the truth <laughs> of the matter is, is that NARAL and Planned Parenthood and the pro-abortion lobby were working very hard last week to come up with a fake compromise that did not offer pro-life protection. There was protections. a compromise in the original bill. There was a know, compromise no, in the original was, bill. It was. That it was said federal it was funds would down, not be so, spent on abortion coverage. Nancy, Nancy there Keenan, was an original agreement which was and what which was straight out of was your playbook so from NARAL so that you would be able to funnel federal money towards abortion and line the coffers of the abortion lobby what you are doing what is happening with the stupac amendment is it goes much farther than the status quo it Not goes true. much farther to to prohibit women from accessing care uh, in this exchange the uh, problem of insurance for NARAL, coverage that and you that face is politically wrong. right now that is wrong is for women in this country 70% Keenan, of the american Charmaine people don't Yost. want to see their money go for it I I need to jump in. We're going to have to leave it at that today. Thanks, I look forward to speaking with both of you again on this. Thanks, Nancy. Yep, a very important topic.